right, so I just wanted to go over briefly um, the whole issue surrounding Congress endorsing um, ballot measures. Um, I know that this is a topic that we've discussed quite a few times now, but um, I just want to make it very clear what the implications are of endorsing um, this ballot, like what of the implications are of endorsing a ballot measure, um, simply because I don't want any of you to make choices without knowing what those penalties will, will be. As Sharonda mentioned, um, this is all being said as what could happen, right? Not what would happen. Um, but basically, at the very beginning of the summer, we were told by our um, legal counsel that for Congress, regardless of whether they're paid or unpaid, um, we're not able to endorse ballot measures. Um, and the controversy that has risen is due to something that Western Oregon has taken a lead on. Um, where they received approval from the Attorney General who um, cited some of her own case law um, that students could take those stances. Um, and that brought some confusion because there's another law in place currently that um, says that students can't. And um, because there's a, a bit of um, vagueness as far as what her role is, the Attorney General can interpret any laws she sees fit. But as you all know, Congress is the one that makes laws the men's laws, who changes them. So um, regardless of what her interpretation is, um, if there's another law in place, what needs to be changed is an amendment to it through Congress. She can't simply decide that that other law is void. Um, and so that's where we've gotten into some trouble with um, as far as like Western going forward and um, passing these resolutions. They might not have a penalty, but we did meet with our legal counsel yesterday, and we were given more clarification from her as far as what will happen. and. Um, from what we were told, because you all have now, at your congressional training, um, the executive staff went through their own training as well, been told um, that our legal counsel explicitly has told us that we're not allowed to, um, that counts as legal advice. If you go against what she has advised, um, the penalty will not fall on the university, and it will not fall on ASOSU, it will fall on the individual that endorses um, the resolution, meaning that you personally may could be fined up to $1,000 for endorsing that measure. Um, and you may also um, possibly face legal um, complications in a courtroom, so they could take you to court for it. Um, this is something that our attorney, our, sorry, our, attorney, our government relations director, as well as our government relations assistant within ASOCU, has been trying to pursue a res resolution for. Um, they're trying to work with our administration to find a way that um, these laws can be amended and changed um, because it's not just affecting our campus, it's affecting campuses across the state. Um, and uh, from our understanding, OSU has reached out to the Attorney General to try to get some clarification on how to move forward with these matters and have not heard from her office. And so um, while other universities may choose to take these stances, um, personally we felt that it wasn't something we wanted to do all the face penalty for. We don't want to proceed not knowing whether that could would turn into a would. So um, this is just us clarifying some of that information for you all.